Hey guys, this is Steve from Trim That Weed. In today's video, we will talk about the GE Oven F2 error, what it is and how to fix it. But first, what does the F2 error mean? A GE Oven F2 error means that your oven's temperature exceeded the safe preset limit. For baking cycles, this safe temperature range is from 615 to 630 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, for self-cleaning cycles, it's between 915 and 930 degrees. Your oven shuts down following this error, and it won't start until you resolve it. The following are some of the common causes of the GE Oven F2 error. Damaged sensor. A damaged sensor is the most common cause of an F2 error. The sensor is a metal rod with a resistance that changes with temperature. Attached to this rod is a pair of leads connected to the control panel. A loose sensor connection, damaged wiring, and over-reliance on the self-cleaning function could result in the false readings and the F2 error. Damaged control board. This is the next possible problem if your oven displays the F2 error. Extremely high temperatures could fuse the soldered connections in your oven's control board. This could result in false F2 error readouts, even under acceptable temperatures. Now let's look at the best solutions you can apply to fix the GE Oven F2 error. Test and replace the sensor. To test the sensor, number one, disconnect the oven and locate the sensor. It's usually on the back wall. Number two, remove the rear panel, disconnect the wires, and gently remove the sensor from its cavity. Number three, Connect the leads to an ohm meter after consulting your user manual to get your sensor's resistance at room temperature. Most GE oven sensors have a room temperature resistance of 1080 to 1090 ohms. Number four, take the reading on your ohm meter. Anything above the manufacturer's threshold indicates a defective sensor. To replace the sensor, take a new sensor. Gently place it in the sensor cavity and connect the leads. 3. Secure it in place and power on your oven. Replacing the control board. Here's how to replace the control board. Unplug your oven. Unscrew and gently remove the control panel to access the control board. Connect the old control board before gently removing it. 4. Connect the wires to the new control board and secure it. 5. Reinstall your control board and power the oven. It's worth noting that control boards are expensive and require care when replaced. Manufacturers advise getting professional help to avoid damaging your oven. Thanks for watching.